एवरी वन एंड वेलकम बैक टू आर चैनल टूडे वी विल कंटिन्यू आर सेशन बट बिफोर दैट प्लीज डू लाइक एंड सब्सक्राइब टू आर चैनल इफ यू फाइंड दिस वीडियो हेल्पफुल प्लीज लेट एस नो इन द कमेंट बॉक्स सो द क्वेश्चन इज अ कंपनी हैज मल्टीपल मेंबर अकाउंट्स दैट आर पार्ट ऑफ एन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इन ए डब्ल्यू एस ऑर्गेनाइजेशन द सिक्योरिटी टीम नीड्स टू रिव्यू एवरी अमेजन ई सी टू सिक्योरिटी ग्रुप एंड देयर इन बाउंड एंड आउट बाउंड रूल्स A security team wants to programmatically retrieve this information from the member accounts using an AWS Lambda function in the management account of the organization. So the question is, which combination of access changes will meet these requirements? Options are: A. Create a trust relationship that allows users in the member accounts to assume the management account IAM role. Option B. create a trust relationship that allows users in the management account to assume the iam roles of the member accounts option c create an iam role in each member account that has access to the amazon ec2 read only access managed policy option d create an iam role in each member account to allow the sts assume role action against the management account iam roles arn option e create an iam role in the management account that allows the sts assume role action against the member account iam roles arn option f create an iam role in the management account that has access to the amazon ec2 read only access managed policy so the correct answer is option a c and e next question is a space exploration company receives telemetry data from multiple satellites small packets of data are received through amazon api gateway and are placed directly into an amazon simple queue service standard queue a custom application is subscribed to the queue and transforms the data into a standard format <coughs> because of inconsistencies in the data that the satellites produce the application is occasionally unable to transform the data in these cases the messages remain in the sqs queue A DevOps engineer must develop a solution that retains the failed messages and makes them available to scientists for review and future processing. So the question is, which solution will meet these requirements? Options are: A. Configure AWS Lambda to pull the SQS queue and invoke a Lambda function to check whether the queue messages are valid. If validation fails, send a copy of the data that is not valid to an Amazon S3 bucket. so that the scientists can review and correct the data when the data is corrected amend the message in the sqs queue by using a replay lambda function with the corrected data option b convert the sqs standard queue to an sqs fifo queue configure aws lambda to pull the sqs queue every 10 minutes by using an amazon event bridge schedule invoke the lambda function to identify any messages with a sent time stamp value that is older than 5 minutes push the data to the same location as the application's output location and remove the messages from the queue option c create an sqs dead letter queue modify the existing queue by including a redrive policy that sets the maximum received setting to 1 and sets the dead letter queue arn to the arn of the newly created queue instruct the scientists to use the dead letter queue to review the data that is not valued sorry that is not valid reprocess this data at a later time option d configure api gateway to send messages to different sqs virtual queues that are named for each of the satellites update the application to use a new virtual queue for any data that it cannot transform and send the message to the new virtual queue instruct the scientists to use the virtual queue to review the data that is not valid reprocess this data at a later time so the correct answer is option c Next question is a company wants to use AWS CloudFormation for infrastructure deployment the company has strict tagging and resource requirements and wants to limit the deployment to two reasons developers will need to deploy multiple versions of the same application so the question is which solution ensures resources are deployed in accordance with company policy options are a create AWS trusted advisor checks to find and remediate unapproved cloud formation stack sets option B create a cloud formation drift detection operation to find and remediate unapproved cloud formation stack sets option C create cloud formation stack sets with approved cloud formation templates option D create AWS service catalog products with approved cloud formation templates so the correct answer is option C
नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज अ कंपनी रिक्वायर्स दैट इट्स इंटरनली फेसिंग वेब एप्लीकेशन बी हाईली अवेलेबल द आर्किटेक्चर इज मेड अप ऑफ वन अमेजन ई सी टू वेब सर्वल इंस्टेंस एंड वन एन ए टी इंस्टेंस दैट प्रोवाइड्स आउट बाउंड इंटरनेट एक्सेस फॉर अपडेट्स एंड एक्सेसिंग पब्लिक डेटा सो क्वेश्चन इज विच कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ आर्किटेक्चर एडजस्टमेंट्स शुड द कंपनी इम्प्लीमेंट टू अचीव हाई अवेलेबिलिटी so options are a add the net instance to an ec2 auto scaling group that spans multiple availability zones update the root tables option b create additional ec2 instances spanning multiple availability zones add an application load balancer to split the load between them option c configure an application load balancer in front of the ec2 instance configure amazon cloud watch alarms to recover the ec2 instance upon host failure option d replace the nat instance with a nat gateway in each availability zone update the root tables and option e replace the nat instance with a nat gateway that spans multiple availability zones update the root tables so the correct answer is option b and e Next question is a DevOps engineer is building a multi-stage pipeline with AWS code pipeline to build verify stage test and deploy an application a manual approval stage is required between the test stage and the deploy stage the development team uses a custom chat tool with webhook support that requires near real time notifications so the question is how should the DevOps engineer configure status updates for pipeline activity and approval request to post the chat tool options are a create an amazon cloud watch log subscription that filters on code pipeline pipeline execution state change publish subscription events to an amazon simple notification service topic subscribe the chat webhook url to the sns topic and complete the subscription validation option b so creates an aws lambda function that is invoked by aws cloud trail events when a code pipeline pipeline execution state change event is detected send the event details to the chat webhook url option c create an amazon event bridge rule that filters on code pipeline pipeline execution state change publish the events to an amazon simple notification service topic create an aws lambda function that sends event details to the chat webhook url subscribe the function to the sns topic Option D modify the pipeline code to send the event details to the chat webhook URL at the end of each stage parameterize the URL so that each pipeline can send to a different URL based on the pipeline environment so the correct answer is option A that's all for today thank you everyone and please do not forget to like and subscribe our channel our team members are doing really hard to keep the content up to date so if you find this video helpful please let us know in the comment box thank you